Sparking up with Vans and Weed. And today, man, we got Tess and we got China. You feel me? Mm -hmm. How y'all feeling today? Good, good. What about okay, you, man? Okay. So I'm feeling all right, you know. So, um, we're going to start off like this, man. Can y'all tell me a little bit about your upbringing? Y'all can, you know, go, you know, one by one, of course. But uh, just, you know, like where you come from and, you know, how you started. Well, I'm from Vallejo. Uh, yeah, I'm from Vallejo. I just came up, uh, was raised really kind of from Vallejo and Oakland with my big brother, R.P. Gunna. Uh, then I went to Hercules in middle school and high school, graduated from Hercules. Yeah, that's, that's really about it. Okay, okay. My about uh, bring in. Um, grew up in, in Richmond and Pinot, San Pablo areas. Uh, pretty much, that's about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Well, shit. How would y'all say, like, your hometown um, affected who you are today, like, as far as your craft or just your, you know, you as a person? Really, for me, it was my mom. Like, my mom is very fashionable, so I always looked up to my mom. Mm -hmm. And like she got hella tattoos and shit. That's where all my tattoos and stuff come from. Okay. So that's how I came into the fashion world for real. It was my mom. For sure, for sure. What about you, Tess? <sighs> um, I say basically the city of Richmond inspired me to do music because mm -hmm. I feel like I am unique. I got a unique sound. I feel like nobody sounds like me. That's why I call myself so original. Um I was inspired by my uncles and shit like that growing up, wanting to be a dancer and a singer and be in the music industry or chore choreography industry. It doesn't matter, but pretty much that's about it. Okay, okay. So like, China, um, I know you said, you feel me, you grew up uh, looking up basically to your mom and she mm -hmm. was fashionable. So like, would you say like, she influenced some of the fashion designs you oh, came yeah, up with today? Nice. Yeah, so basically for like what I got on right now is Birding mm -hmm. Designer. This is my shirt, uh, my first drop. So basically how I got this idea was I was talking to my mom and we was talking okay. about I was talking to my mom and we was talking about like how people live beyond their means. Mm -hmm. So dirty and designer for real mean like a lot of people could wear designer but that don't mean that you like not per se like worthy type shit but you don't really got got it going on in your life. Like yeah. you could have on Louis Vuitton, but you asking people for money. So that's what right. that's what really dirty designer is. Awesome. So okay. yeah, my mom said that, and she was like dirty designer. So I was like, okay, let me think about it. Let me put it into artwork. So I got on my iPad, mm -hmm. got the pen going. And I was like, okay, let me draw a little dude asking for spare change. That's what it is. A little spare change wearing Louis Vuitton. Oh, that's great. And then put the uh, all the brands and stuff on the back. And yeah, that's so definitely she definitely influenced me for a lot of my work. Okay, so it's basically like a, it's like you know basically saying like the designer, it don't uh, make everybody you feel me an expensive person Hell for no. real. So yeah, I can rock with that. I can rock definitely with that. Living behind, and behind what you rock is how you rock it for real. Say that for sure, for sure. I mean, did y'all see her fit though? Yeah. Check her fit out today. Mm -hmm. She's you feel me? Little sleepy, All right, Tess. But easy. So, music. You feel me? When or yeah, like what stage of your life would you say you really fell in love or wanted to do music? Uh, I say I was in high school when I wanted to become serious with music because I want to be somebody. Okay. Or I'll say I wanted to be somebody because I am somebody. <laughs> but uh, pretty much, music, I don't know, it always been my life as a young girl. Going to church, being in choirs, watching Beyonce, you know, she was in Fight of Temptation. She was singing in the choir, Sister Act, mm -hmm. Oh Happy Day, all that shit, you know. Yeah. 
I, I fuck with that shit. It, it gave me motivation to want to sing and, and let my voice be heard type shit, you know? Right. So basically, in high school, I say like maybe my sophomore, junior year, that's when I started peeping. Like people make music, they do what they want to do, and they do it how they want to. So that's why I was all like, I'm going to be so original and do it my way. Okay, okay. Fuck with it, man. Fuck with it. So like, uh, what did you say is your favorite or like an artist that really inspired you growing up? Hmm. This question, man, because there's just so many artists in the world that inspired me to become what I wanted to be. But I can say, on the top of my head right now, I don't know why, but I got Mariah Carey only because I mm. watched her movie Glitter. And, you know, that that's what made me want to make I Want It. You know, her song Lover Boy, I sampled that. So that's kind of what made me want to take it on. And I feel like that, that's how I got my name out there by that song, I Want It. That's how I'm doing all these shows and stuff because people like that song. So, Mariah Carey. <laughs> okay, hey. okay, okay. <laughs> For sure, man. Legend, legend. So, um, oh, damn. My fault about that. All right, so, uh. China, what like how would you describe your style like or how would you describe you know I'm you different your swag like, nigga can I nigga you did, did, did different <laughs> like yeah. hella different my style I mean I could I could have on I could have on designer but I could go into the thrift store and I don't have no problem getting the thrift store you feel me what I get at the thrift store and still wear designer like you know I'm I'm mix match I mix it up so my style is real different. Okay. It's not just um, you feel me, one, one level. So, for, this is a question for both of y'all. What's your definition of being different in today's world? Oh, for me, for me, being being different is like being living out the box, creating your own box, like not living up to anybody else's mm -hmm. standards, just being you, knowing what you, who you are, finding yourself, figuring out yourself, having your own style. You know your own seeds and everything. That's what for me. That's a difference. Okay. Okay. Tess. What make me different is I read books about you know enlightenment, self enlightenment. You know being a human being, mm -hmm. and I feel like we all have a problem on trying to find our purpose in life, really. And really, the purpose is just just to become a kind human, be a kind human, do what you love. You know, do what you want to do, how you want to do, when you want to do. You know, you got to do shit with love, too, because love comes back. And I feel like I do everything with love. I feel like that's why I got a lot of fans, too, because I'm a really cool-ass person. I mean, I know I get angry and I be kind of, you know, yapping off, popping off at the mouth and stuff. But, shit, I mean, I think everybody do that when they get angry. So, for me to be different, I ain't like these other bitches. I can tell you that right now. Why? Because... I'm not worried about what they're worried about. I'm worried about my purpose being within myself. I'm not worried about being an expectation for someone else. And I feel like that's what a lot of people have problems with nowadays. They want to be an expectation for somebody or something. Like, nah, fuck that. I accept myself the way I am. I'm growing. I'm healing. That's how shit goes. So I think that's what makes me different. I got a different mind the way I think. Facts. Facts. Okay. I'm fucking with it. All right, so... China, like, once you once you uh, sold your first piece of work, how did you feel? Like, oh, no feel matter great. like how much it was, no matter you know we ain't talking, we ain't got to talk prices. You know what I'm talking I about. Feel, I feel great. But, like, you know that Quayle Ray song today gonna be a good day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. That was me. I felt. I felt like y'all you know talking about. Like I did it. Like y'all seen my my vision. I came out. Like it took me hella long. I was. I was in a room, like, sketching on a piece of paper. I'm a witness. I was in a room sketching <laughs> on a piece of paper. Then I got an iPad, and I'm like, fuck it. I, I got to do this shit. You just got to do it. That's what yeah. it is. You just got to do it. Like, if you're thinking about it, do it. Please do it. Like, coming from me, you don't want to. Do it. Like, I know this entrepreneurship is hard. It might be some days where, you know, money not coming in. But keep your faith. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Please. It's Man, rainy days and sunny So, days. like, nowadays... You know? Nowadays, seeing your know, like, just seeing people, it don't matter if it's like your folks or just even somebody you don't really know like that, like wearing something that you created. How did it make you Boy, feel? My heart, my heart be like, oh, that's me. Like mm -hmm. you, you rocking with me, you fucking with it, and the fact that you don't know me, so that means you didn't get it because you know me. You got it because you fucking with it. Like 
like you you really like yeah. this like you know like i be having people send me send me pictures of people in the club and stuff with it on and i, I love that man like that's, we outside to, that's <laughs> the best feeling like Thanks. oh my gosh all right so like i know we i know we said we ain't gonna talk about prices but as far as like prices do you feel like you get the the same like love from your supporters that you know like <clears throat> or do you feel like do you feel like you know like, within your community or do you feel like it's it gotta be a little worked on for real i mean everything a little need a little work you know okay. everything need a little work improvement is needed everywhere you know okay but okay I fuck with the people that fuck with me, and I fuck with the people that that haven't got nothing and just supporting me by mouth. Yep. Like, and we're not supporters and supporters, who we right? You know, supporters and supporters. Love sure, is love. Sure. Mm -hmm. Love is love. For sure, for sure. So Tess, yeah. I seen you been turning up, man. <laughs> Shows, you feel me? <laughs> just got back from one. I'm talking about. Yeah, buddy. You feel me? So. How like how you how you been feeling like just living out your dream and being able to perform in front of different fans and stuff like that? I ain't gonna lie, I had to tell that that last show of audience that you know I've been going through hella shit for the past two years. I ain't done no show in two years, bruh. So for it to be 2022 and then by the grace of God, me praying to Him, asking to give me something, like give me something, please, Lord, that I want to do, that I love to do. You know, mm -hmm. He answered my prayers and I got a DM asking to do a show in Salt Lake City, Utah. So I got flewed out there and then how you say it? Flewed out? What they be saying? I took a flight, man. Yeah. I got, I hopped on the flight and I went yeah. to Utah and I explained to my fans and everyone that supported me, basically that you know, life can stop you for a little bit, but mm -hmm. you gotta keep going. Mm -hmm. That you know, it's trials and tribulations to this shit. I made a song called Trials and Tribulations with my nigga Lance, bro. So I feel like life is that's what it's full of, but you just gotta keep going. And music is what keeps me going. I mean, if I didn't have music, I don't know what the fuck I'd do. Honestly, I feel like that's all I'm good at. Shit, I'm me. <laughs> okay, okay. So, like, you feel me? I say, like, what would what would be your favorite show or favorite video you ever participated in? Damn. I done done so many shows, bruh, I, but I can't say that I get the most love in Utah. Like, I done been back to Utah, like, fucking yeah. three or four times already, so I feel like Utah is my biggest fan base right now. I'm sure I got fans in, like, Hawaii and all of that, but, you know, I don't, I don't live out there, and I don't live in Utah either, but, shit, it's closer than Hawaii. I'm, you know, one hour and 57 minute flight, five hours to Hawaii, I ain't kind of too much for me but real deal i feel like utah was the best show i ever had and video wise i honestly don't even know what video i like of mine the most but my favorite song i can say that i do love the most is no more like i don't know the way i was on that beat and then the whole video of going from richmond to the city and then yeah. you know me walking down the street and then that lady standing behind me at the bus stop but i was dancing wasn't worried about her but i almost hit her on accident <laughs> but she got oh, yeah, out my I way though yeah yeah. yeah but no more is really i think that has to be my favorite video because i was in my prime in that video i feel like but okay. not only that You're though I, I can't You're i can't forget about aggressive i worked really really hard on aggressive yeah that no you want to know what's my favorite was, you want to know what's my favorite for real you want to know where i really be slapping that haters haters like, that's, that's i ain't gonna shit. lie that's my shit i fuck with haters that's my shit i fuck with haters because it that came from the soul for real i feel like that's just it's a timeless you feel me it's like you can play that any time of the day for real like Definitely. another mm, song i could mm. say i like on that album with haters is ain't giving it up though because like that's you know i used to walk shit. but i drive now i used to use my dad money got my own now you know we ain't living off parents out here we out here hustling getting out the mud type shit so mm -hmm. that's why i'm like mm, you know facts facts so trying to being an up-and-coming designer out here in the bay area mm -hmm. do you feel like everybody like is getting supported like they should or 
do you feel like? I mean, I feel like the Bay Area needs some work on like supporting each other. Like we all need some work on supporting each other. We all need to love each other, see each other win, cause mm -hmm. we need help. You know, that's what the Fact. everybody be like. You don't need nobody, but on some real shit, you need somebody. Yeah. Like, Nigga, you, you need everybody. You it know? take a village to raise a, a kid, right? So, yeah. so that's it's not what like. you know is who you know. Facts. So. Facts. Facts. So, like, any upcoming projects or, you know, any upcoming oh, yes. little work you got going on, man? Definitely. I got a whole... My iPad is full. <laughs> my for iPad sure. is full, you know? So for many sure. ideas sure. she got. I cannot Boy, wait for y'all to so see. Raw. I can't wait for y'all to see. Okay, okay. It's so. over the top different. Yeah, like, like for real. Like not just saying different on it. Like not just my yeah. label. Everything is never, different. Never before seen. Never before never seen. Never before seen. Never before seen. seen. It ain't shit. No duplicate. Okay. It's Nothing. all really one really. One on one. One on one. Yeah. One and yeah. done. One on one and done. You know. For sure. For sure. So Ted, you got any? You feel me? Any projects or Boy. anything booming on the way, man? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm trying to get back into more to more shows, mm -hmm. but I got hella unreleased music. I just made a new banger with uh, this nigga named Nazi out in Utah and Venu Moon, you know, my moon gang. Shout out my moon gang. Thank y'all for everything. Thank y'all for taking care of me. But pretty much, I can't wait until that song come out because I'm starting to get more into, like, you know, the indie music phase. Uh, you know, I'm very versatile. And I like different type of genres of music. I don't like being stuck in one type of way, you know, sounding the same and everything. And not only that, though, I feel like, you know, pop music make money. You know, indie music make money. Mm -hmm. I want my shit playing in Forever 21 and H&M type shit. You know, yeah, I, I don't right. want to be, I don't want to be played in no club. I don't feel, I don't feel like I'm played, I'm, I'm in for the club. <laughs> I ain't gonna I mean, lie. I mean, you know, maybe maybe I want it yeah. to be in the club, but you know that shit annoying to me right now. I'm not gonna lie. Even though that song put me on, I, that shit is annoying. I want it. I want it. I want it. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. That's my life, man. No, for real. Nah, but um, so trying to. I see you dropped that Don't Look Back, you feel me, up in February, you know what I'm talking about. So, like, what what sparked that idea for real? Because in life, fear is an illusion. Like, fear is not real. Anything that you're scared of is not real. It is going to hold you back. It is not. It's an illusion. It's, you know. You got to so, overcome you gotta, your fears, you know. If you fearing that shit, you better go do that shit. Right. I feared going to Utah, but I went and did that shit. Mm -hmm. I feared starting my company, but I did it, you know? Everybody got a little fear for We feared exactly. coming here, mm -hmm. but we here. Facts. Yeah. Heart was like this. Facts, facts. <laughs> so, like, you feel me? When you when you go into creating, like, any, like, you know, home remedies or any, um, what's that? Any little, like, rituals, you feel me? Anything you got to do before you create? Shit, I oh, roll yeah. up, and I smoke, turn some music on, okay. and I get to working. Get in the sure. box, you know, get in the box. What's, what's, what's the what's the top top song or you feel me favorite artist you would probably be slapping on you, you know, doing Drake. thing. Okay. Drake, definitely. He got different types of. You, you know, feel Drake me? is so definitely. It's sure, like the sure. rap, and, and then it's like the slow. You know, yeah, yeah, the yeah, mellow yeah. high. You feel me? For get sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. All right, so Tess, what about like when you in the studio, like what you think keep you focused or, you know, get you going to create the next hit? Eh, I ain't going to lie. Uh, it, de it depends on the people inside. I don't really like having too many people mm -hmm. in my session because I feel like the vibes get thrown off. Uh, I like to be by myself a lot in the studio, um, only with my brother or, you know, my best friend, the closest friends to me, you know, they mm -hmm. could be up in there with me. But I got to drink my tea for sure. Um, I can't really be smoking like that in the studio because, you know, shit get dry throat real quick. And, you know, yeah. drinking tea and mixing the smoke together, that shit do not mix, like, for real. It make your throat dry, so what's the point of smoking while you're in the studio, you know? And not only that, I feel like the producing beats, like, whoever's producing the beat, that's what matters. Mm. Whoever's engineering, that's what matters. I need all good energy inside that room. If it's no good energy, I'm out. I'm leaving. Like real shit. I gotta meditate. I gotta own. You know, I really gotta pray to myself and really just 
sit there and talk to myself so I could be in a perfect headspace. Because, you know, being in a weak-ass headspace and coming around people, that's boozy. You selfish. Okay, okay. Yeah, misery loves company. Mm -hmm. Keep that over there. Indeed. Okay, okay. So, like, as far as the growth, like, what would you say, what would you say, like, how far you came, like, from your first project to now, like? Can you see any growth or can you, like, what's different? I see a lot of growth within myself. Uh, I ain't going to be too personal within this shit, but I didn't place myself into things that I need to be in. You know, I, mm -hmm. I'm doing what I need to do for myself. I'm taking time. I'm taking my time. That's what, what I need to do. I feel like everybody got to be at their own pace. You know, this is my life. That's your life. You do you and I do me. You, you go at your pace, I go at mine. You know, I ain't on nobody. I ain't trying to merge lanes with nobody. I'm in my own shit. Real deal. I said it in my song, you know? For sure. I, I, I ain't tripping off nobody. I'm worried about myself. And I feel like people got to do that. You got to worry about yourself. But you got to have an open mind while you do that as well. Because everybody trying to get to their, their highest potential, you know, mm -hmm. in life. And everybody's highest potential is different. Yeah. Like, you know, hers is, hers is clothing. Mine's is music. Yeah. We both want to make it. Be successful within this shit. So... Therefore, it's all about doing it, you know, Facts. all about your pace and motion. I'm going to say, Even too, faith. trying to, uh, as far as, like, from making your first piece of clothing and to now, how would you feel, like, how do you feel it changed? Oh, it's a learning experience, for real, because I ain't never did this before. Mm -hmm. Like, talking to people and opening my mouth more, uh, networking, mm -hmm. so it's, like, I'm talking more. My girl shot. Yeah, I ain't gonna Definitely. lie. Definitely, I'm, I'm very shy. Yeah, like, like, I'm, I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I'm, I'm, like, I'm hella really shy. Like I don't. That. I don't. Yeah. So even for me being here, like this, it, it's growth. It's yeah, definitely for growth. Sure, for sure. Like, cut myself on the back for that. Yeah, one, I ain't man. gonna lie. My sis very observant. Would you would you say like y'all y'all compliment each other like? Cause Tess, she more like outspoken than you more like, you it's know. Like, Nigga, that's it's why like, I fuck with her. This is a whole Libra. Yeah. I'm a Taurus. You know, I need oh, my Libra balance. Gay, you Libra feel gay. me? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I yeah. fuck with my Libra because yeah. whenever I'm going hypey, she the one that be like, hey, bro. You know, like calm down, calm down yeah. just a little bit. You go up there and you go down here. Just then it's like when two, when two fireworks go off. Yeah, and it's, it's bad. Off. Yeah. Yeah. It's bad because we could be some fireworks. Yeah. I'm not gonna but lie. But I calm her down. I, it's we. Yeah, she, she calm, calm me, me down, down too. I calm she her calm down. Me down we, too. You know, we best friends. That's what it is, man. You know? For sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. So I got a question like, for you. Just we got a couple, couple <laughs> before we get up out of here. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, as far as like your favorite weed strand, what did you say? You feel me? <laughs> or on a good day, what, what you fucking with? And that cookie. No, that cookie, cookie only, that okay. blue cookie. Okay. To be exact. Blue cookie. I okay. ain't gonna lie. I hate runts. I hate all of that other ass shit. Cookie is mm -hmm. my favorite, yeah. but I ain't gonna lie. I do not like runts. I love indicas. Any okay. type of indica, I fuck with it though. Like I'm the type of motherfucker who wanna be hella chill, you know? Right. Yeah. I'm trying to be loaded as fuck. I really don't like sativa like that because who the fuck wanna be? Oh, I'm high and I'm up the fuck, like, you know, the I'm fuck. trying to be chill. Man, yeah. I'm trying to, you know, relax. I'm back, high. yeah, you feel me? Okay, I mean, okay. sativa do help, though, sometimes, but, you know, indica is my preference. You know what I'm saying? Okay, <laughs> okay. So, bloods, papers, or bongs? Oh, oh. oh he hit me with the bong, man, ain't gonna lie. Hold on, <laughs> bong, lava. <laughs> I was about to say bloods. Why you said bloods, paper, I was like, okay, he about to stop. Oh, I got a bong. Uh. <laughs> oh, gonna have it. Okay. Uh, 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 man, I ain't gonna lie. I can't fuck with papers because I feel like I'm just smoking nothing, and then yeah. my eyes is just turning red. Like what the like fuck? Like it's a little like, like you make your nose burn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ain't gonna mm -hmm. lie. Like it give you a weird, different type of smoke. You know, I love backwoods and I love bongs. But if I really had to choose, like for the knockout, mm -hmm. oh, give me that bong. Yeah. Give me that bong right bong now. Lever. Wake up real quick during the middle of the yeah. night. A quick loop. I go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. Shit. You know? oh, that shit just took me out. <laughs> That's what it is for real. Okay, okay. So, um, uh, this this could be for both of y'all, but like, uh, you do you do clothing, you do music. Do you see yourself doing anything different in you know the next five to ten years? Like whether it's acting. Or, you know, 
I know you got your own uh, clothing line too, you feel me? The Tesla original. I ain't gonna lie, that's just merchandise for a artist. A little merch, a little merch. <laughs> you know hey, don't downplay it. Don't but, downplay you know, it. But mm. you, sitting, you sitting here with the, you feel me? With the goat right now, so you know what I'm saying? You, with the, with the, with the, put with the, um, together, with man. the plissium. You feel me? Oh yeah, this my nigga shit, y'all. Y'all yeah, gotta go man. check him out. Pop pissy, pissy not pissy. Hello. Hello. Nah, For but, sure. um. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like in like five years, I could see myself being a, a mental health advocate. Like okay. on some real shit. Yeah, I make music and all that, but I'm also really big on mental health. And I feel like everyone is traumatized in the world. You know, mm -hmm. everyone needs love. Everyone needs somewhere sacred for themselves to just be sin, you know, sane, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, who likes insanity? That right. shit's weak as fuck. But real shit. <laughs> It's all about a lack of love, for real. Yeah, pretty much. And I feel like a lot of people lack love because they lack love within themselves. And I'm one mm -hmm. of them. I'm not okay. going to lie. I'm going to be real. Uh, that's why I go through so much shit. You know, it's hard to love yourself, especially when you never was taught to love yourself. You know, Definitely. don't nobody know know what to tell you how to love you. Oh, this is how you're supposed to love yourself. You know, like, mm -hmm. ain't nobody over here it. teaching you how to do that shit. You know, it's real experiences. Life is experiences that make you who you are today. Mm -hmm. And... I really feel like being a mental health advocate is needed in this world, especially for me, too, because I feel like people want to talk to me and ask me questions, but then they kind of lean the other way because mm -hmm. I'm kind of like, like, you know, I'm aggressive a little <laughs> bit, but I'm trying to calm down, and mm -hmm. that's what I'm learning right now within myself. So pretty much that's my goal. I really want to talk about mental health to the world because it's important. Okay, okay. So would y'all be, I feel like, uh... Like our music and what y'all create, you feel me? It's therapeutic Hell to yourself yeah. or just to the world? I feel like it's therapeutic to myself, but not only to myself. It's therapeutic to whoever could relate. And that's why mm -hmm. I have so much fans, you know? It's whoever relates to the music. My lyrics that I write, it really comes from me. I write all my shit. I don't let nobody write shit for me. I don't want to sing nobody else shit. Why? Because I'm not, I'm not going to feel it the way I feel. My own words, you know? Mm -hmm. My that own passion. thoughts. And not only that, when I talk... And when I be cussing and stuff like that, I sound so, like, you know, ugh, like, who the fuck want to talk to you? But then if I go sing that shit, everybody want to hear me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got an angelic-ass voice when I sing, so I'm sure people going to want to listen to me. Bitch-ass nigga. Like, you know, <laughs> you know <laughs> shit like that. Like, <laughs> But what That's about sweet. you, Chai? Therapeutic-wise for your clothing. Mm. Yeah, it's like, for me, it's like, clothing make people feel good. Like, it make you, it express who you are. It's, you know, it's how you how you wear it, how, how you, you go about it, on. how you put it on. Mm -hmm. It don't gotta be all designer. It don't gotta be none of that. It's how you put it on. You could you could rock something just so nigga wear a, a, a sweatsuit and you you feel me? You that you feeling right? And it's all about how you feel. So I feel like it's very therapeutic. It I know when they good. pull out that fear of illusion, fresh out that. Plastic, the little fringes on the side. Yeah. And the so, colors go crazy on that shit, too, so. With the puff print, with the puff print. No, for real. Can't, for can't, show, can't for show, that. man. Y'all gotta that. tap in. Get it gone. Cause it ain't come back. It ain't come back. One on one. One on one, man. One on one. Real shit. Different. So, you feel me? We know, you feel me, y'all? Y'all besties and everything. So, I know y'all got a crazy high story for us. No, y'all got one. I already see. <laughs> I already see it, man. I'm thinking of that video you sent me of me over there, and you was <laughs> recording me. <laughs> and I was just in your bed, like. Well, I didn't did that a few times. <laughs> nah, what's really really Crazy funny, high bro? Story. We have a man. Me and this. It don't matter what the fuck you get high off. The fuck, man, me and my motherfucking <laughs> thug right turnt, here was, was turned up, up and we was in show. a hotel and we oh, was in a, in a, we got a, a whole in picture, a, you boy, yes, oh, okay, we got a whole yeah. picture, bruh, we was in a receipts. motherfucking tub <laughs> and we over here just hella lit, just retarded, drunk, high, stupid, for real, and we just, just chilling in the tub with toothbrushes, why did we have toothbrushes in Definitely there? left my, um, my edge control at the hotel, Jeez. yeah, we was, bro, we had to eat, some ice that day because we was just like oh my god like 
Oh yeah, y'all was fired, fired up. Let's fire it up. Fire and it was too was many true. people up in there too, cause it wasn't our our party. It was our friend party. Yeah, it was so. her birthday. <laughs> it was our birthday, and we kind of took over. So okay, sorry, okay. friend. <laughs> you know who you is, sis. <laughs> so, what's the what's the what's the perfect high like, and what y'all smoking on today, man? Oh, we smoking on some Larry, Larry Bird. Bird. I mean, you know what I'm saying? This is little Leon. Leon. Look, Leon. look, if your ass is over here wasting all your weed, rolling up 3.5s and all of that weak ass shit, because you just trying to prove that you got money and weed, you Bootsy, uh -huh. you Bootsy. Yeah. Go sit some, go, go, You know, go you just dancing, because you're going to get you high You see this blunt? This shit going to get me so high, Regardless. and I'm sharing it with her. Oh, y'all love it. Y'all over here wasting bomb, our cheese, you know? Yeah. Like, real yeah. deal. The smoking today, we smoking Larry Bird. At Elion on Instagram. I've been off that. You, okay, if you okay. smoke, go try uh, Elion Berry Cheesecake. Berry Cheesecake. Do that. that like motherfucker 34% THC, 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 nigga. Ooh, and this right. one right here, 33% THC, boy. Sheesh. Straight out the candy club. Sheesh. Alright, well, shit. Uh, one more question. One more question. So, like, what did y'all say smoking weed do for y'all? Like, or just, you know. Or oh, is it therapeutic? If or I it... didn't smoke Come weed, boy, I would probably be in jail right now. <laughs> Definitely calm my nerves. I'm not going to lie. Sure, Shout sure. out to weed. Shout out to weed. Sure. Man, for real. <laughs> weed saved my life. Because, boy, Shout I would have been slapped the fuck out of a whole lot of people. <laughs> and then would have went to jail for it. You know when you arguing with strangers at the motherfucking stores and shit, you know? Uh, yeah. The hell? Yeah, bitch, I don't know you. Mm -hmm. You know, Chris Rock go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfuckers want to press charges and shit. So, you know, I just be having to go smoke a blunt for real. For and sure, that's what a lot sure. of motherfuckers need to do that don't smoke. Who always talk about people who do smoke. Go, go smoke a blunt. Go Shut smoke. up. Please. Go for do something with yourself. Calm your nerves. You and we it. don't make you stupid or slow. Okay? I mean, smarter, look. Man. Look. <laughs> it makes me want to make music. It makes me go think different. It makes me want to want to be in an open mind space. Okay? You start thinking about a whole lot of different shit when you're hot. Mm -hmm. So, fuck all y'all sober motherfuckers who right, talk about people weed. who smoke weed. Weed is great. Weed is great. Man and weed. I mean, this is my best no. friend, but weed is my best friend, too. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, so before we get up out of here, man, any, you know, projects or... Any anybody you want to shout out? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Speak your piece. I ain't gonna lie, man. Shout out everyone over here right now because you know, we wouldn't be here you, right now if it you, wasn't for y'all. You know, shout you. out Vans and Weed. Shout out you, Cozy Boy. I love you, Dub sure, Son. But real shit. Um, I want to shout out my family. You feel me? Because I wouldn't be alive right now if it wasn't for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shout out my niggas. Shout out all them. You know, everybody making music out here. Shout out Boss Life, Big Spence. Shout mm -hmm. out Ten Piece Tone. You feel me? These niggas out here really making music from Oakland and out. Richmond. Y'all gotta go check these niggas out for real. And my nigga Debson right here. He make beats and all this shit, bro. Shout him out. Shout out Lil Lean. Shout out all them niggas for real. For sure, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I love y'all. I grew for up sure. with y'all. Y'all, y'all, my heart for real, brother. For sure. Love you more. Always. Love you more. Love you more. So you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Vans and weed, man. Like, comment, subscribe, Ooh, man. Hit the notifications, man. We going up, man. Hello. You see we got Number Tesla original. Up. We got China in this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Different man. one of one. You can get the love. drip. Yeah. You can get the drip. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? I'm gonna lie. You, you can get some hits. You feel me? You gonna listen to some hits and you can get the drip. Show them the drip. Show them the drip, man. Show them the drip. Show them that boot. You know? It's the boot for me. You feel me? Throw that boot right here, boy. Lift that. Look, look, look. Man, put that motherfucker on the table. On the table. Hold on. Hold on. Check her out, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all of that. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. You gotta show that shirt, though. You feel me? You see that? You know what I'm saying? Okay.